It's the time for mm, Pick It From China. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. Because in this video, I want to take a close look at the Super Console X Cube. Yeah, they already have released a new model. And it's going to be a freaking jungle with these Super Console X models. Because there are a lot of fake ones and we're having the real ones from Kin Hank. Okay, so I want to take a close look at it. I already said it. So let's do a quick unboxing. And what are we going to get inside the box? They're using old Android boxes and that <laughs> there is no difference with this version. But what are we going to get? We're also going to do Wicked Nerdy Time with talking about the specifications. Inside we're going to get another box with a ex very extended toilet paper deluxe metal with a very nice glossy paper. And of course we're going to get the controllers. So the controllers, they are trying to improve it. I did talk with the guys more like, oh man, just change out these chemical controllers. So first of all, let's do the smelly test. It still smells chemical, more like burning plastic, but yeah, it's better than the previous model. It's still the fake controllers. The feel is not like an original one. Joysticks feel okay. On and off switch over here. And then there are of course the batteries inside. And there they are not included. I already put them in because I tested it before I was making the video. I'm always having trouble getting this thing back. Oh, that feels way better. Both of the controls will come with a single dongle. And the reason I'm saying this is because sometimes you're having like two controls, one dongle. Ooh. What are we going to get here? Hmm. Ah, we're going to get the toilet paper manual for the controller, how it works. Yep. I think nobody will read it, so let's put it back in there. But let's take a close look at no, not the box. Let's first check the manual itself because here you can see like they are printing these nice manuals and I must say that the glossy toilet paper manuals are getting really good. All the information you need to, how to set up the system, if you have any problems whatsoever, they even include Super Consoles X Cube. So this is not like a manual that they're reusing for every single system they're releasing. No, it's just like a completely new print. Inside we're going to get HDMI. We're also going to get a power supply. Couldn't get it back in the box. Then we're having the system itself, and the system itself is quite interesting. So they call it the Super X Cube. I'm more like, I don't know, I don't really think about it, but I think this is not a cube. This is more like an NES clone version. But I like the model. But the question also remains, what are we going to find in the inside? We're going to do a teardown, but let's take a close look at the back over here. We're going to get an AV out, so I'm curious if this thing even works. Then having the CF input slot. And here we're going to get a 256 gigabyte with this version. Uh, let's see, it's a brandless version again. They're also doing this. When you leave it out, it will boot up, by the way, in Android. But let's take a close look at the Android so far. Okay, I must say that when booting up, you're going to get this very strange modified Android version. And there is nothing to do with it. So it's just Android that they are using. But besides that, there's nothing you can do with it. Because even if you're looking at the menu itself, you will see that there is nothing to see here. Because it's all in a weird modified Android. So Android just wanted to show you, but forget about it. Okay, here we're having the HDMI out. We even have an RG45 Ethernet connection input for the power supply 12 volt and the on and off switch also very rare because not all of these things have a freaking on and off switch the wrist sticker at the side says warning do not plug or unplug the usb controller while the power is on hmm, it's quite interesting super complex model number x cube and rating at 12 volts and all some you know, some basic information yeah whatever at the front we're going to get three leds over here there are no buttons like with the original nes mini and we're going to get four of the controller port. So what I understand of, and maybe I don't understand it wrong, but he told me like there are four controller ports, but you cannot plug in in hub anymore. So four controllers, but we will see in the inside when we're going to do in teardown what he meant with that. The Super Console X Cube is a system in a lineup of Super Console X systems. In the future, we will do like an overview of all the systems and which one will be the best one for you. But for now, let's focus on the X Cube or Super Console X Cube. But first, Time for some wicked nerdy time and chit chat about the specifications. All right, so let's take a close look at the specification because it's wicked nerdy time. And I can say it's very similar to the previous models. And the biggest bummer is that it isn't one gigabyte model because we need some more power, but also more some RAM if you want to install some new edition of MUALEC. But on overall specifications are promising enough to run some low-end stuff, but for the high-end stuff, it's not going to be enough. 
So, and that's that reason why we're going to test it out. Before we're going to power it on, let's plug in the dongle itself for controller number one. We can't close it. Then we're going to turn the system on. I wish like you used the on and off switch at the front. Yeah, okay. This is the thing what we're going to get. So within a couple of minutes, the device itself has been booted up. It depends, of course, what kind of version you're having. The control is already set up for me. So the only thing I need to do is like powering on. And of course, what I've shown you, plug in the device itself. In this case, my wireless PlayStation 2 controller. But if you're just tuning in, I have no idea what is this device all about. So basically what they're doing, they're grabbing old, really old Android tech. Like the device is normally going into the garbage pile for e-waste, but they're just reusing this stuff. And they're doing some modification with making a custom name and slapping some MUL. Like the software, they just, I think they grab it from the internet. You can just, by the way, get yourself MUL -like because it's just free to download. Get yourself an Android box and do the same thing for less money. Take that in consideration. But overall, like I'm curious what kind of performance we're going to get because this is still a very old, a low power device. So don't expect a lot of performance, but let's test it out. You can play a lot of old games, let's say up to the 16 bit era without any problems. So that is what we're not going to test out because in my opinion, it's just a waste of time. We're going to try the high end stuff. Like think about PlayStation 1, PlayStation Portable, stuff like that. How will it run on the Super Console X Cube? The cube. There's actually not a cube. First, let's try a Thomas Wave. It's a very demanding emulator. And the performance itself is okay. I did see and hear a lot of hiccups. Oh, and a lot of glitches. Oh, I can hear it. Frame drops, maximum level. I did notice like some of these boxes will run it better, but then we're going to need a better and newer emulator. And this device is just low powered including when it comes to the gigabyte of RAMs and stuff like that. So this is just the best performance we're going to get for this box and this Emuelic edition. Okay, so first I want to try Sega Dreamcast. It's running on the Reincast emulator, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Because of the Mali, you will see, and I mean with the Mali GPU, you will see some glitches. Some stages will run just perfect. Music is great. But what I noticed, like this control I'm using now, works way better. But even the super move, I don't see any hiccup. So I'm gonna say the performance and overall, besides some minor glitches, hmm, is surprisingly running pretty good. So N64 will always be a mixed bag with these low end stuff. And in combination with ML like 3.9, I think the emulation is just what it is. But some games are just playable, beside all the glitches and slowdowns. Howdy, partner! Woohoo! Love this game, I've played it as a child so much. The sounds like alone are so freaking awesome. Mm, 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 mm. Path cleared. Here it comes. Like with N64, we had so many issues. Mixed bag, what we like to call it. But with PlayStation Portable, it's of course the same story because it's a really demanding system. But again, some games are just playable. G Darius runs on full speed. So even despite the low power and the old Emmy Alec, we can still play a lot of cool PlayStation Portable games. But again, it's a gamble. So I really want to know what's inside. So the only thing that we need to do is removing the four rubbery feet. And then we can basically screw the four parkers oh man and when we open it up i am really curious what to find on the inside because with the normal version and the pro basically we're going to get the same old android box but this all right so let's remove the four screws so is it the same main board inside this than all the other models or is it something different ah so this is what he meant like with the special hub 
So this is a little bit of a bummer, so I need to be careful. So this PCB that contains the four USB connections is soldering straight onto the mainboard. There is not a plug or whatsoever. Oh, here we're going to get the three LEDs over here with some plastics. And then we're going to get over here the flash chip of the mainboard itself. Then we're going to get here the two RAM chips and underneath see if I can remove it. Oh, that went very easily. We're going to get the chip itself. So let's see if we can check it out. This is the S905MB. Oh, it's very hard to film because it's very difficult to show you. But you just need to believe what I'm saying. We're going to get here the Realtek Wi-Fi chip, the very tiny antenna, on-off switch and all the other connections. But I did use it for some time, but I'm noticing that this box is not getting really hot. So, but the question remains, is this an old e-waste of a product? Or it looks quite new. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove the mainboard because I want to check underneath what kind of day this thing has been produced. Alright, so let's remove this part. And let's see when we can lift it up. I think there were the only two. Damn it, it's still stuck somewhere. Ah, we needed to remove this part and now I can lift it out. Or better said, I'm going to get some more movement. Yep, I can lift it out. Ah, so let's see if we can find some information over here on the bottom part because I want to know. And there is again no information whatsoever. But again, what I like to, like to show here in the channel, if this are like a really old piece of tech or is it just a completely new revision. It looks new if you're looking at the main board, the color, everything, the condition. But yeah, guys, so this is what you're going to get on the inside. There's not a lot, of course, because yeah, it's old tech. It's a quad core. It's pretty damn awesome. Even, yeah, it's old tech. But let's put it back together and let's just chat about it, the pros and cons. So what do I think of the Super Console X Cube? In general, it is nothing new. I find the casing itself kind of cute, but that's all. And of course, the four controller ports is very convenient because with all the other ones, we're going to get two of them if you're not using a remote or something else and you always need a USB hub. So that's something they basically fixed. But overall, the performance are the same and when it comes to pros and cons, also this will be the same when you're looking at previous models I've reviewed here on the channel. In the future, we'll make like an ultimate collection which is the best one stuff like that so consider subscribing hit the little bell become one of the wicked family and it would be great to see you in the next video